Hi, my name is Brenton, or Boston to a lot of you. As a child, my godfather was a pastor, and my mom brought me to church on holidays. Yeah, I knew who God and Jesus were, but going to church and hearing the word made me feel awkward and uncomfortable, as I wasn't sure if I believed in all that or not. For the good part of 27 years, I was more of a leaf blowing in the wind with no true purpose or direction. I manipulated, coerced, hurt, and used people as I saw fit, like pawns in my game of life. I was trying to write my own story as I thought it should be written. But that led me to make poor choices and venture quite far off of God's path. So far that I felt that there was no way I'd ever get back on his path, never mind being a man of faith and would probably die alone which drove me further into sin and away from the Lord. In doing so, I landed myself in jail and hit rock bottom in my eyes. There, I was given a thick paperback Bible and a blue color pencil with no eraser. With these, I chose to attend a Bible study group, not out of desire, but because it was just something to do. Yet every day, I was drawn more and more to that group and the feeling I got from just highlighting scripture that spoke to me. I began to feel a change in my life and began to wonder what my purpose was and if trusting God could help me achieve that, all with the concern of still being too far gone. Being at rock bottom and at war with whether to trust in the Lord or continue doing it all myself, I started to pray and trust in the Lord with the little things, like giving me peace of mind to make it through a shift at work or giving me the strength to not sin for the night. I began to notice things starting to shift for me in aspects that I was giving to God almost like building a bond of trust. But whenever I started to grab the pen and start writing my own story again, things got tough and almost brought me back to square one. I even started to use what little knowledge I was learning from scripture to hold others accountable for what they were saying and doing. Along every step of this journey, I have noticed a set of footprints walking beside me. At first, I would kind of veer away as I was still awkward and ashamed. But I have come to realize that it is Jesus walking beside me. And no matter how many times I veered from the path, he continu continued to walk by my side, making me realize that those stories of Jesus I had learned as a child and of his grace, forgiveness, presence, and power weren't just good stories or something mental to accept, but things I have now experienced personally and to my core. I have now trusted Jesus as my Lord and Savior, knowing he's forgiven me and will continue to walk by my side as I continue this journey. Today, I am blessed to have my best friend and my parents baptizing me since my parents are the wisdom and examples that believing wasn't just a smoke screen and who allowed me to ask questions about the word without forcing it on me. And Diedrich, who is the shepherd that God sent to guide me and nourish me on my journey. As Proverbs says, as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. And that is him and I to a T. I've come to learn that everyone has dirty, worn, and tethered armor with battle scars. God doesn't give the hardest battles to his toughest soldiers. He creates the toughest soldiers out of life's hardest battles. Don't let your battle-tested soul stop you from accepting his help. So give God the pen back and stop trying to rewrite the story he already has for you. My baptism isn't the finish line, but just another step in the journey to becoming closer to the Lord. I do not want this. I need this. My name is Boston, and I'm giving God the pen back and going public. Man. If you can't get excited about that, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. So uh, we are so excited to be able to do this. Boston, I think you know this, but this moment is the answer to some really specific prayers that a whole lot of people have been praying for a really long time. And we are thrilled to get to celebrate with you. Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? I do. Have you trusted him to take away all your sins? I do. This whole place is going to celebrate alongside you because you're part of the family now as we baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let's celebrate, church. Come on. Yeah. <laughs>